meteorologist Mark Molnar with your forecast for weather northeastern. Let's get right into the viewers sending photos and videos. John from Islip, New York, taking a look at stormy photo across the region of Long Island. On the, he's on the warm side of the system. Behind the system, the rain is changing to sweat snowflakes and accumulating across upstate New York and northeast Pennsylvania and portions of western New England. So thank you, John, for sending that photo in. We're going to take a look at the forecast factors here across the country in North America. We're going to be watching what could be the leading edge of a major Arctic intrusion and major pattern shift. This storm come later Sunday, Monday into Tuesday across the upper Midwest, portions of the upper Ohio Valley into the lower Great Lakes and eventually into the Northeast towards later Monday and Tuesday has the potential to drop a good amount of snowfall anywhere from, we're looking from two to four into these lighter blue areas and greater than six inches, a good area of probably six to 10 inches across these darker blue areas into portions of the upper Midwest Iowa, stretching from Minnesota, Wisconsin, Michigan, over towards northern Ohio, upstate New York, northern Pennsylvania, portions of extreme western New England. And then in the fuchsia colors here, we're probably looking at some significant ice accumulations, portions of Pennsylvania, central and southern Ohio, over towards Indiana, and stretching all the way over towards portions of the Midwest here. As I said, this is getting pretty... Uh, I can't get too detailed into this since it's pretty far out, but as I said, this is the generalized look of what I'm looking at at this current time based on what I've seen in the trends here for upcoming conditions based on positioning of the highs here across Canada. We'll have some cold air really entrenched, so the, the, there's some details that need to be worked out here, especially the exact track of the low pressure system too will depend on a very tight gradient of where the snow or sleet or freezing rain or plain rain falls. So we have to fine tune this over the next several days, but as we get closer to Monday, later Sunday, Monday, and to Tuesday, I'll fine tune these snowfall amounts into more manageable ranges. But for right now, this is kind of the pattern that I'm pretty much looking at. It will be the leading edge of a major cold air outbreak and major pattern shift. And that I want to majorly emphasize here across North America. This is a major pattern shift. So let's get right into the forecast. Precipitation totals across the country. Pretty much void here out west. It's back east here, South Florida, tail end of the cold front and into the northeast, Midwest, into the Great Lakes. You can see the shadow of that storm I was talking about that ejects out of the Midwest into the Great Lakes and eventually into the Northeast. And as I said before, the system doesn't have a tremendous amount of moisture, but it has enough to really drop some good snowfall totals, especially if the snow growth gets going here into the colder air. If we get up towards 15 to one or 20 to one, we'll have that stripe of what I think will be six to 10 inches of snow. You see this half to three quarters of an inch of a liquid equivalent precipitation. That's enough to give us about the six inch, eight inch, maybe as high as locally higher 10 inch totals in a very large area. So even though it's not a major blockbuster storm, it has two things going for it. First, it has a very large area of precipitation that will be falling. So those areas that do get wintry precipitation will have a prolonged period of it. In addition, it will be strong on the fact that it will be able to push behind it a tremendous cold air push with a secondary front here behind it. So let, let's take a look at that polar map here. This is the map I wanted to show you. Major ridging out west here. It's back east here. That trough really carves out, goes all the way down practically to the Gulf of Mexico. So for those, for those of you in the south that have been waiting for a cold air intrusion, this I believe will be it. So this is what you've been waiting for if you've been waiting for cold and snow, especially even down into portions of the south. The polar vortex pinwheels across the upper Midwest, portions of the western Great Lakes, and dive southward here. And there's pretty much no end to it in sight after next Wednesday. 
through next weekend and into the following week. So we're looking at a prolonged period of dangerously cold temperatures as this cold cell sets up here across eastern North America. Let's get right into the snowfall totals. I'm looking short term from Friday to Saturday. My lake effect snow belt areas from Erie, Pennsylvania, Jamestown, southern suburbs of Buffalo, over towards just north of Syracuse as well. Up towards Oswego, Fulton, Central Square, portions of Montague, New York, up towards Watertown. We're looking at these two banded areas getting about 8 to 16 inches of snowfall through about Friday morning all the way through Saturday afternoon. So that takes us through Saturday afternoon. After Saturday afternoon, high pressure begins to build in and the lake effect bands will slowly drift to the north and weaken. But those areas, those are our two snow belt areas. And here's the snowfall map for later Monday into Tuesday. This is getting a little bit early here, but this is my current thinking, especially Northern Pennsylvania from uh, Route 6 in Pennsylvania, the Northern tier counties of Pennsylvania on North and Eastward. That's where I'm expecting probably about six inches or more of snowfall accumulation. South of Interstate 6 in Northern Pennsylvania, probably more like two to four inches with maybe a 10th to a quarter inch of freezing rain possible. So this is likely to be fine tuned, especially if you're on any of these areas where there's cutoff amounts here, there'll be a tight gradient going on. So nevertheless, stay tuned here because things are subject to change, but I just wanted to show you my current thinking here across my general forecast area for this upcoming storm. It's a couple, at least a couple days off here. So things could change greatly, but this is my current thinking and it looks to be about on target with our current trending over the last couple of days. So let's get right into the forecast, starting off with your TGIF. Look at this across the Northeast. We'll be dealing with heavy lake effect snow bands, as I showed in portions of upstate New York, north of Syracuse, south of Buffalo. Eight to 16 inches expected. We'll have that secondary push of cold air as that moisture starved clipper moves through into your Saturday. Take a look at this. Lake effect snow bands will still be with us on Saturday morning off Lake Ontario and Lake Erie, but later in the day they'll drift northward and weekend as high pressure kicks in. We'll even get some breaks of sun outside of those lake effect band areas. Temperatures struggling to reach 20 in most areas. Most areas from northern Pennsylvania on northward will barely even reach the upper teens. So so much for sun. And then getting into your Sunday, we'll have another clipper system move across the Great Lakes. It will be moisture starved as well, but it will kick some temperatures up towards 30. Places like Binghamton, Scranton, maybe towards 40 here, coastal plain areas. And then back west here, we'll probably get at least one to three inches of snow. Places like western New York, western Pennsylvania, Ontario, and less than an inch pretty much elsewhere. And into your Monday, here you have it. We'll start to towards sunset, develop the snow here into northern Pennsylvania and two portions of upstate New York. And maybe later towards evening, places like Pittsburgh starting to mix with sleet and freezing rain. So we'll have that next winter storm moving in the big, long drawn out winter storm. So let's take a look at my five day outlook from a hometown viewers from Binghamton, Scranton's upper Susquehanna region of upstate New York. Northeast Pennsylvania from Binghamton, Wilkes-Barre, Scranton, and all points in between along the Susquehanna River Valley. Take a look at this for Friday. Temperatures heading up towards the lower to mid 20s. And your high will pretty much be in the morning as another cold air push happens. Most areas will stay mostly void of snow. We could have a few scattered snow showers off the lakes, but less than an inch of accumulation into Saturday. Look at this. Temperatures heading up towards only 20 degrees struggling most areas to reach the upper teens. And we'll have a few breaks of sunshine as high pressure kicks in before the next clipper on Sunday, less than an inch likely, but we'll have some scattered snow showers, especially later in the day. And then onto your Monday towards sunset, snow developing, maybe a couple inches, and into your Monday night and Tuesday. This is where we have the potential of greater than six inches of snow across our forecast area. We'll have to see where the warm air profiles are and how much mixing we get with sleet or freezing rain, which could greatly change snowfall totals, but I'm expecting at least around six inches or greater for our forecast area. Stay tuned, because after this, 
all bets are off, the bottom drops out, and then we have a major Arctic intrusion. Thanks for joining me for this edition of Weather Northeastern. Don't forget to like me on Facebook at MediaMark, subscribe to me on YouTube at MediaMark.com, Twitter at WX Northeastern, Google Plus at MediaMark, and take a look at MediaMark.com and WeatherNortheastern.com. That'll do for this edition of Weather Northeastern.